Hey folks, it's Jim. I wanted to show the uh, final setup with the Renogy RNG30. Uh, it's the Renogy RNG30 uh, monocrystalline solar panel, which means it will perform well in low light situations versus poly. But anyway, uh, get into that. There's the little panel. Uh, it's a 30 watt solar panel. Uh, here I'm going to show you the Schumacher charge controller. This is the uh, solar charge controller by Schumacher. And uh, you can see we're at uh, high voltage on there is what it says. That light is on. And pretty soon it'll click back to charging uh, when it cycles through. It'll get back to around 14.3, 14.4. There you go. Now it's back to charging because uh, it dropped down to about 13.2 or 3. And now it's going to charge it back up to 14.2 or 3. Uh, and remember your car alternator runs at 14.4. That's what your battery in your car is getting charged at. Okay, now if you see here, the solar input is 7 amps max, which our 30 watt panel is well under that, use Watt's Law. You can go to a 50 watt panel safely with this charge controller. Uh, your over discharge, uh, that light up there, that red light, will go off when your battery potential or voltage drops to uh, 11 volts plus or minus 0.3 volts. I found that it cut out at 10.8, which is good. You'll see the charger is cycling back and forth. It's in trickle charge mode now. And I'll show you what that looks like on a voltmeter in a minute. Hey, here I'm charging a big AGM battery. This is what I get off the of ships for cheap. These things are always kept in float mode. And they can only be used for two years where this battery is rated for eight plus years. Uh, so I get a lot of usage out of these batteries for very little money because I get them off of ships who have to turn them in by international law. Uh, for their emergency shipboard systems, they can only use these for two years. And this is a $500 battery. I get it very cheap. I won't even say how much. And you can see it next to a standard 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. Okay, This is an AGM battery also. And the reason why I get these is because they withstand cold temperatures in my climate much better. AGMs do. I run AGMs on everything. You can see the voltmeter cycling there with the uh, charge controller. Um, but yeah, and uh, so AGMs also I recommend if you're in a cold weather climate for your solar applications until they come up with something better. Okay, um, and I wanted to show you battery terminals. Okay, see how the alligator clips are connected to that nut there on the terminal? You got your regular terminal, by the way, leather gloves, folks, or insulated gloves of some kind working with electricity. Um, but this is your regular terminal mount, right? And then you've got this here. That's where you can put your inverter or your charge controller or whatever. And I will wire in a, this is a Fuse 7 amp battery tender cable. And this is what goes on all my equipment. I make sure that my battery tender cables are all fused in line. That's a 7.5 amp, 7 amp fuse in that tender cable. And you can see it's the same connections, okay, as the other ones. And then on our, our charge controller, it's 7 amps max, right? So you want to fuse your equipment to protect your equipment from any malfunction in any charging system. That's Jim's opinion. Do what you want. I recommend safety first in all things, okay? And always check with somebody before you do this on your own. Now let's watch this cycle, okay? It's dropping down. And now you're going to see what a battery tender really does. It should drop to... Uh, 13 to something and then it will kick back on and charge us back up to 14 plus and there you go it cycled now we're charging back up and we'll hit 14 probably 0.2 volts and then we'll go into float mode and then the voltage will drop back down again and there you go 14 to 8 and we're dropping back down because now it's in high voltage mode so now you see our voltage dropping back down. It will drop to 13.2, 13.3, something like that. And then it will kick back on, back into charging mode once again. And boom, there we go. We're charging back up. And as you can see, our charging light is on. So, and remember how easy these connections are, okay? That's why I like this. And I'm showing you this product for people who are inexperienced working with solar. It really, Schumacher really came up with a great product that plugs directly into the Renogy setup, okay? And uh, this is to your solar panel. Uh, these are to your batteries, okay? And um, uh, it's very simple to set up. 
you see how small the solar panel is you can uh, find a uh, pack fabric pack to carry this around with and you've got yourself a solar suitcase basically and uh, with some great charging potential try taking your little 1.5 watt trickle charger to camp and getting any use out of it while you're out camping whereas this you can set up get 30 watts possibly uh, depending on how many hours of sun you have you can get a potential of over 200 watts back into a battery while you're out to camp and isn't that nice right run a weather radio some LED lights so on and so forth while you're out camping off of a littler battery like that very simple setup uh, and that's why I don't recommend wasting any money on those small trickle chargers and also with those small trickle chargers what people have found is at night because they weren't dioded the panel begins to draw energy out of the battery at night it reverse uh, the potential of the battery overpowers the little panel and it starts charging the panel right so people were finding that the, those little trickle chargers were taking more energy out of the battery than they were putting into it ever okay so that's why I always recommend disconnecting your chargers at the end of a day for solar chargers as well okay disconnect them and that way you don't have any potential of uh, ghost power as we call it uh, those of us who play with solar there's a thing called ghost power when you work with electricity anything that's plugged in draws energy okay whether it's a little micro milliamps or whatever okay it draws energy so you don't want to leave things plugged in you always want to unplug them and that also adds to safety if you're not charging unplug it it just adds to safety remember this battery carries three kilowatts of energy in it I will use one kilowatt of energy a day and recharge that with a 200 uh, watt solar charging system and this will run my refrigerator okay a full-size refrigerator by the way 21 cubic feet that's what this battery with a 200 watt solar system is going to run as a refrigerator for off-grid application and that's what this is for um, and that kind of gives you an idea of how much battery potential you need to run a refrigerator all right solar going off grid is not cheap that's why I recommend end phase to start out with so you're on grid and you can just see the power of solar if you want to go off grid go for it but know what you're doing know what you're buying know which batteries to buy for the climate you're in most importantly okay so there's the Renergy RNG 30 okay and th this is just a demo panel the Renergy RNG 30 that I'm using is outside uh, but that is actually being used to charge this system this is the Schumacher solar charge controller okay seven amp max what do i got in my tender cable 7.5 amp fuse i protect everything so should you and you've watched it cycle through remember put some money into terminals to make your life simple so you can uh plug your inverters in your charge controllers very simply and quickly have a quick setup shut off all that and this is what i mean having these little clips for your tenders okay uh, it's all very simple. I'm using alligator clips for today because I wanted to cycle this. Remember, I've charged my back, my tractor today. I've charged this AGM today, okay? Uh, and next, I'm moving to my uh, Mustang to charge it. So try that with your little 1.5 trickle charger <laughs> all in one day when it's overcast. It's not going to happen, and you're going to spend almost the same amount of money. 20 bucks for the Schumacher, 50 bucks for the Renergy 30-watt uh, panel, and you're up and running you can go camping with it you can do a lot of things with it so i hope this video has been helpful um and again uh just be careful with what you buy folks and pay attention to what you're doing always check with somebody who knows what they're doing uh, before you attempt any of this that's just a disclaimer i need to put out there um and make sure you are you know you get some knowledge about what you're doing if anything i could tell you to know watts law so you know what you're trying to do before you even do it and uh and have somebody around who knows electricity so you don't get hurt. Experience, strength, and hope. Jim out.